Okay, so we are about to enter the area for the smaller cats, such as bobcats and servals. To our left, we are having a big enclosure for two bobcats. So this is Casper and Howie. Let's see if we can find them. Oh, oh, I can hear someone growl. So I think that's Howie. Oh, it's both of them. Hi, guys. Howie has only three legs. Hi, sweets. So, oh, oh, Howie is right there in front of us. I'm going to keep a safe distance. He doesn't like me. He actually doesn't like us very much. I know. And then Casper is a little bit further in the back. He's laying down. Hi guys. Mm, you're fine. You good boy. Good boy. Howie and Casper. Hmm. Okay. Okay, bye guys. Now we're walking up to another enclosure. Also, I'd like to point out the space between the enclosures. Lots of space because cats are territorial. They don't want to feel like there's another cat right there, right next to me. They like the idea that they own their space and the other cat owns their space. They also obviously can't touch each other. They can't reach through. So it's, it's really well designed. I just went back to Howie and uh, Howie and Casper briefly so you can see them. Yo. Uh -huh. Okay. So as we are walking towards this enclosure, I'd like to point out this plywood that's leaning against the back. So in the summer, we remove the plywood so that the cats, so that the enclosure has some airflow going. I'm actually going to walk around to show you what I mean. So this closed area of the enclosure, that's where they can, in the winter, where they can hide from the cold and the wind. And in the summer, they have nice, they have shade. And so the plywood that I just showed you, when it's cold, it will get, it will go to this area. Let me get a little closer. It will basically um, create a shield, create an extra wall right where you can see these horizontal planks. But again, in the summer, like right now, it's, we removed it so it creates nice airflow. It is the middle of the day and the cats sleep. Just like your domestic cats at home, they like to sleep a lot. Oh, this is my little girl. This is Cleo Bobcat. You can see her right there. So this is Cleo. She also lives with another so uh, with another Bobcat named Bobby, and they are incredibly bonded. They really love each other. They groom. Oh, it's nice. If we. Oh, oh, someone is right there. Okay, here's one of the servos. Hi. Hi. Right there. Right there's the servo cat. Mm -mm. It's nice. And you can see a bit of a cardboard box back there, which is part of our enrichment. And then there's a white ball. So enrichment is really a great way to make the life of a cat in captivity a bit more interesting, a bit more entertaining. Sometimes also we, we create enrichment that is kind of like a game or like a puzzle where they can open something. Like for example, we create um, big sculptures out of cardboard and then we hide some some food inside and then the cat can smell it and then they can open it and so it's just it just makes their life more interesting and cats are really smart so they need some stimulation 
What I really love are these platforms because they fit so well into the style of the sanctuary, like so natural looking with these tree trump trunks. And then also, I don't know if you noticed, there are little like lines scraped into them a little bit so that um, they're not slippery, so they're kind of rough. Oh, look, there's a cat. One of the souls and another one. Hi, guys. Hi. It's right there. And then we have you right there. I think it's Sebastian, but I'm not sure. We are gonna do a nice a new voiceover. Hmm. So yeah, here are the kind of roughness of the platform. So it's really easy for the cats to like, jump up with their claws. It's not like a slippery plastic thing. Okay.